Well, today we have my 1998 Henry um, cleaned up, so I thought I'd show it off on a video. Um, I think I might have actually filmed this before. Uh, yeah, I think I did. So, but I'll run through it quickly. The backstory: got it off eBay. Probably paid too much for it. Um, but I was after a yellow one to complete the set. I think. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty scabby though. But you know, the yellow seems to be quite hard to find, as does the kind of green one. Um, mind you, there's been a couple of green ones on eBay this year. Uh, I bought one of them, and I was bidding on the other one, but I stupidly messed up my bid. Um, so yeah, I've got a blue one, which I've had for a couple of years. Blue and red seem to be most common of this type, even then you don't see them very often. In short, I have the set. So, what have I done to this? Well, I've given it a wash up and a bit of a polish, but I've no real polishing facilities at the moment, so maybe one day if I do that, it'll look better. But for now, it's okay. There's also a new flex, which... Actually has a Volex on it too, which is very nice. Um, I think the original Flex was about three metres long when I got it. And it doesn't help this has been used in France. So the guy had already chopped the original plug off. And then took the French plug off and fitted a UK plug. So cable had been cut anyway. Um, it's been a DIY machine as far as I can tell. A, it's scabby and B, it was so dusty. Full of plaster dust. These are just Henry Plus's tools. Just because they're the correct set. And I think I've only got a hose and bend with us, and even then I don't think they were original. Um, the base is actually fairly good in it, so if I ever get another top case in that, will be fine. Uh, just dragging the hose through the fireplace. At the back, again, the switch light was a bit faded, but, you know, it's no biggie. 1998 week 12, that's pretty faded. I had to literally scrub this, there was paint on this and everything. Wheels are pretty meh. Um, I would change them for better wheels, but I don't really have any spare wheels. I've got two, but they're mint, like, I took them off a machine because they were mint. That was actually cleaned up well. A bit dusty on the clips because I don't really clean them very well. The filter actually also cleaned up like new, so that's another bonus. Bag, excuse a little bit of sellotape. When I was pushing the bag in, I slightly tore it, and I'm too cheap to just put another bag in it. That's a genuine sort of period correct bag. Correct bag. Actually, I'm really pleased how that filter cleaned up. Um, let's just get that back on here. Uh, I don't know what else there is to say. I feel like I've just filmed nothing but Henry's recently. You know, it's pretty battered, but it looks cool. You don't see many yellow, yellow Henry's out there these days. Um, I think certainly now there just seem to be red Henry 160s going about. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a blue, a blue or a green or a yellow Henry in the wild. Um, to non-collectors, in the wild means a pneumatic or vacuum being used outside of a collection environment, FYI. Um, let's see, we'll see how this one runs. I think the motor's a bit, not rough on it, but it's been well used and for like plaster dust, so I don't think it's spot on, but we'll see. That's not too bad. It's quiet enough that Shug doesn't get up. Are you dead, Shug? Barkley? Oh no, you're not dead. That's fine. It's a bit powerful, actually. Runs pretty well, a wee bit grumbly. Um, that's to be expected, it is 23 years old. Is that right? Yeah, 98, that'll be 23 years old. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. See you in the next video, I suppose.